I'm a documentary filmmaker. So in my opinion, friction or conflict and tension are an inherent part of the process. For me, for the creation of documentary film, it's really about uh, discovery. When I make a documentary film, I certainly enter the process with certain goals, but I also need to leave a lot of room in that process to discover what the film is going to become. And for me, that's tension, that's friction. When, as you're making a film, you're butting up against objects as you're trying to figure out where the film's going, what it's going to become. And that's a constant process of friction. Seeing where the film takes you and how you adapt to that to ultimately construct a story. Friction, in a way, is part of every art making process. It's about problem solving, it's about discovery, and ultimately I think it's about transfer that way of seeing into an actual thing, into a piece of art. And so that is a process of friction, is the interpretation of seeing into realization. How do I take what's in here and put it out there? I feel that to be a successful teacher of art making, you need to teach problem solving and adaptation to students. And so getting back to this idea of friction, it's a part of all art making because it's a part of, of, of moving from the internal to the external self. The best thing you can do for students is to teach them about discovery, about tinkering, how to learn new things to make their work happen when they might not have previously known how to do that. Tinkering requires critical thinking and that is all part of, of friction and conflict in work. It's an essential tool to teach the students.